Matchup between a developer and a group of neighbors in Jupiter Farms is set to play out this week. The fight surrounds a plot of land that the developer wants to rezone and turn into a soccer facility. WPTV News Channel 5's Ryan Hughes is live in Jupiter Farms tonight. Jay and Shannon, this is the area where their soccer fields will be built if the developer gets his way. But speaking with neighbors out here, they tell me they like their open space and this is not the area for that project. And you can see behind me, there are now several meetings coming up where those neighbors say they will fight against this. It'll look great if we can do what we want to do. Ben Glinski says he knew it would be a challenge when he bought this 20 acre plot of land in Jupiter Farms. His goal to turn it into this four outdoor soccer fields and an indoor soccer facility. There's really nothing in the area where families, where kids can can train, have sports and even have events. Linsky helped start Rise FC Soccer Club. Now he says he's looking to give kids a space to play. The indoor facility would be shaped like a barn to keep the rural feel and built here at Indian Town and Rocky Pines Roads. We're not asking for any money from the county, any money from taxpayers. This is all self-funded. To make it happen, Glinsky has to get the land rezoned from rural residential to commercial recreation, something neighbors out here are fighting against. And this would kind of be, you know, Pandora's box, a Trojan horse that would allow for everything because it's nice to say it's a benign soccer facility, but it's commercial recreation. Matt Gitkin is the president of Jupiter Farms residents. He says neighbors fear if the land is rezoned, it opens the door to more development down the line. Once you put that word commercial into it, that commercial recreation actually allows hotels, motels, restaurants. They can all come in under that guise. And a community meeting will be held tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at the Jupiter Farms Park Pavilion for everyone to voice their opinions. The developer, he will also be there to answer any questions. And then the first public hearing will be held this Friday. We're live tonight in Jupiter Farms. Ryan Hughes, WPTV, News Channel 5.